Every night in Toronto, hundreds of young people stay in shelters or on the streets. A huge comfort to many of them is their pets. Unfortunately, a lack of resources can mean owners have to give up their companion. But as Taylor Simmons found out, two Stouffville sisters, just 16 and 22, are fighting to ensure young people never have to make that decision. It's an impossible choice made too often, says Anya Bopa. After years volunteering with Stouffville's Humane Society, she saw many homeless youth giving up their pets. If the animal felt ill, they couldn't afford giving them the proper treatment, or they fell ill because of their lack of vac vaccinations. It's so essential to our mental well-being to have support, to have our animals, and we know that firsthand with our own animals. So in May, the sisters launched the Canadian Courage Project, aimed at keeping young people and their pets together. They've run several successful fundraisers to help them purchase items for care kits, which are distributed to shelters across the province. We are starting with providing support in terms of pet food, um, hygiene items for your pets, treats, leashes, and sweaters and such for the winter time. Their first recipient, YouthLink, a pet-friendly shelter in Scarborough. When a homeless youth has a dog, that is the only being on this planet that has never let them down. Back says the support is especially helpful amid the pandemic, having lost some large donations. So they raised money and, and uh, donated money for COVID products and dog food and, um, you know, and also their time. It's remarkable to have somebody 16 and 22 so young uh, to be so aware. Whenever you visit a shelter, see a young person that's been able to keep their pet. What's that like for you guys? We realize that there's more hidden homelessness than we could imagine. And within our own neighborhoods, which is really heartbreaking. The women are purchasing local products for their care kits and are selling locally made sweaters through the holidays. The proceeds will help ensure the warmth of a furry friend remains at the end of a tough year. Taylor Simmons, CBC News, Toronto.